now we talked about the autoimmune hypothesis and I, I think on the long term or just in general for scientists it's very interesting and very important because if you understand the disease you could maybe treat it in another way than we do now just treating the symptoms but I think treating the symptoms for now is very important for patients uh, so I think treating narcolepsy better is very important um, and I think in the upcoming 10 years what is the development that we're all hoping for uh, and, and I think it's a good chance that, that we will see the uh, earliest results uh, in the next few years is that, um, that now orexin agonists are being developed. So orexin like, uh, is the same as hypocretin, um, drugs that can actually mimic, uh, mimic the mechanism uh, that hypocretin also uses to keep us awake during the day and keeps us asleep during the night. So you hope that by uh, getting that medication, you can actually treat all the symptoms of narcolepsy instead of everyone, every single symptom apart and not in the way that hypocretin does. So I think if that works, that would be fantastic for patients, but we have to see, uh, it's not yet there. So uh, I think uh, that will be the most important uh, development in the upcoming years.